What's up, YouTube universe? This is Jacob Dark, and today I'm excited to bring you the scooter that has me thrilled, the Varla Eagle One electric scooter. We'll talk specs, build quality, test footage, and show you why this is the scooter you need to buy. Now, let's not waste any more time and get into today's video. The Varla Eagle One is a premium, high-quality electric scooter unlike those you may find to rent around your city. What sets it apart? Let's start with the independent suspension system with front and rear shocks, which when combined with the 10-inch tires, help absorb bumps and allow the Eagle One to venture in places no average scooter can go. Just look at that bounce. The 19 by 9 deck can support up to 330 pounds, has plenty of room to balance, and is so big I'm pretty sure Jack and Rose can do the Titanic pose while riding aboard. Now, please don't try that or you'll probably crash and burn, and we all know how that movie ended. While it is heavy at around 70 pounds, it fits in my trunk and is easy to transport thanks to its sturdy, dual-locking clamps which keep the handlebar in the upright position. Simply make sure the screws are tight and lock those clamps into place. On the left side of the handlebar, we have your rear brake lever, a bell to alert pedestrians, and two buttons, your Eco Turbo button and your single dual motor button. Be warned, engaging these buttons dramatically increases the acceleration. On the right, we have your ignition, a large LCD screen which shows the mode that you're in, your speed, a speedometer, and your battery life. Tapping the mode button switches between modes or gears and affects how fast you can go. Holding the mode button down turns on and off your lights. Tapping the power button changes your speedometer reading and allows you to track your trip. And holding down the power button turns the scooter on or off. All of that sounds fantastic, but the question remains, how does it actually ride? I decided to test the suspension system with my initial run by breezing through my apartment complex to find out. Speed bump after speed bump, the Eagle One handled every bump I came across beautifully and never felt like it had trouble or could cause me to lose control. Any paved terrain should be a breeze. But what about unpaved? Can it handle off-road? Oh, it can handle off-road. Keep an eye on the handlebar to get an idea just how rough this terrain is. there you have it. If it can handle this, it can handle anything you might come across on your commute. Just don't try to be Johnny Knoxville. If you're a city dweller like myself and might be getting a lot of PM hours logged, you're probably concerned about how visible you might be to others on the road. Let's see just how bright those lights shine at night. I'm going all the way down to the opposite end of my complex to see if the lights are visible from such a distance. Let's check it out.
That's pretty impressive. And should you night riders need to explore your city after sunset, motorists should have no problem seeing you from a distance. In case you didn't see the thumbnail, yes, 40 miles per hour is possible on this scooter thanks to its dual 1000 watt hub motors. Not only is 40 the magic top speed number, but it can also go 40 miles as well off of one charge in eco mode. 40 miles. I can literally travel to a nearby town on one charge. Hello, Floresville. Should I ever need to brake, I can feel assured I'll come to a quick stop thanks to its upgraded dual hydraulic braking system, something not even the competition has to offer. Speaking of competition, I couldn't help but notice the similarities when compared to the Zero 10X. However, after comparison, I found the Eagle one was the better value as the $1599 price tag is $100 less, has a two-year warranty versus the 10X's one year, has cool custom deck replacement stickers, and includes free goodies like a complete protective gear set, and has the upgraded dual hydraulic discs that the 10X doesn't. At the end of the day, I recommend the Eagle One for everybody from scooter hobbyists to seasoned riders, from college students looking to get around campus, to big city dwellers who want to save on gas and are tired of being squeezed in trains or buses. Bottom line, if you're looking for a premium top of the line scooter, this is the one you want to buy. That's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted each time I upload more content. So until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great day.